One of the most common questions we get from students is how do I decide what to talk about on social media? And if you're struggling with that question too, then listen to this critical advice Marky Lemons Ryle has to give us about choosing topics on social media and how sticking to this one simple rule can help every decision you make moving forward. How do you decide what to talk about, right? So we're going past the real estate stuff, we're getting into more of the, the personal things, we're being a little vulnerable. You know, I think that's where people get caught is like, oh, I'd love to talk about this thing, but am I going to offend people or am I going to turn certain people off? What, what do you say to, to that kind of concern? You always run the risk of turning someone off, period. OK, right. and I, I'm I'm a, a alpha sweetheart. There's four of the or five other organizations. I, well, four other organizations I could have been a sweetheart to. I'm a member of Delta Sigma Theta sorority. There were three other sororities I could have been a member of. So I'm going to you're going to always run the risk of not being in alignment with every person. What I think about is I don't do anything at the expense of others. OK, mm. so if me talking about the fact that a person needs to get fitted properly for a bra because it's going to help as we age with our back um, our clothes are going to lay better then that person would have to be offended because here's the thing I'm likely to talk about that subject at any given time right so my number one thing is I don't do anything at the expense of others but if my personal life offends you if I talk about domestic abuse because my father was abusive to my mother and that offends you, if I talk about uh, race issues and that offends you, then we weren't meant to be. We weren't friends anyway. Mm -hmm. OK, because I'm not running around here. As I told people, I, when it comes to race, I've never told anyone they were prejudiced. I don't know if you're prejudiced or not. I know when you're not inclusive. That, that, now that I can see. I know when you're not inclusive, right? I don't have to call you prejudice. You're just not inclusive. We could see that, right? And so there are things that, um, hmm, once again, as a leader in the space, that I've, I think you should talk about. Because you find those other issues that you're able to connect with people at a higher level. I hope you enjoyed that highlight. To watch the entire episode, click the link in this post. And if you'd like to learn more about how you can scale and grow your business through video, go to bizvideoschool.com to learn more about the premier training program for real estate agents that helps you learn to use video across your entire business. Time. Next time, next time